I've been a Nickelodeon kid for as long as I can remember. I grew up with Tommy, Chucky and the gang, laughed at the undersea antics of SpongeBob, and still dream about the epic tales of Aang and Korra. Being a Nickelodeon kid means I know that a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Like trekking all the way to Ice Cream Mountain, or reuniting Reptar with his long lost son. Nickelodeon has always been in the business of telling great stories. Whether it was Hey Arnold's Stoop Kid gaining the courage to leave a stoop, or the inspiring tale of the Pigeon Man, Arnold always taught me how to be a genuinely good person, while still managing to capture how fun it was to be a kid. But Nickelodeon always had plenty to say in that department. Ask anyone who lives in a pineapple under the sea, and they'll know. Unless, of course, they've been living under a rock. And for those kids who are busy thinking up ways to rule the human race, or wishing for the magic of fairy godparents to fight their evil babysitter, Nick had something to offer everyone, even cat dogs. I still have no idea how that thing works. The point is, I was shaped by these stories from the beginning. And with Nick's wild mix of styles and sensibilities, I was inspired to find my own creative voice. I began animating when I was 15. And nearly a decade later, it's a dream come true to help celebrate 25 years of Nick animation the best way I know how. I'm Tucker, I'm an animator, and I'm a Nickelodeon kid.